Hello everybody, a very warm welcome. So in today's class, as you can see, we are talking about the chapter Heredity and Evolution. We will be discussing objective questions from this chapter. So here is your first question. So you all know that this chapter is all about certain crosses in which sometimes you know the uh, genotype of parents, sometimes you know the genotype of the offsprings and depending upon that you have to find the another one. Is it clear to you? So questions will be based on these type of experiments, questions will be based on certain theoretical data as well. So we will be discussing that all those things in today's class, please have a look. This is your first question, a pregnant woman has an equal chance of her baby being blood group A or blood group AB. That means <coughs> baby, baby can be A blood group or the baby can be AB blood group and data suggests that the probability of both of these are 50-50%. <coughs> Which one of the following show the possible genotype of the women and of her child? Now as you can see in this case in all of these cases the genotype <coughs> are given and we have to identify the correct genotype so that this different type of blood group can be obtained. If you look at the genotype of this parent, first I will be exploring each of these options one by one. Let us look at the option A. In option A, they are saying that the parents they can be the capital I A, A, right, or I B, I, or I know I the capital I whatever you want you can write. Now if we make such, such type of cross <coughs> from this parent from this one there will be formation of this type of gamut. In this case there will be formation of this type of gamut. These are the parents <coughs> these are F1 generation now if you will look at the possible genotype of the baby this can fertilize with this one and this can fertilize with this one type of babies will be produced on the basis of blood group. This particular will give a AB type of blood group and this will give a A blood group and the probability of both of these will be 50-50 percent. Is it clear to you? That means our option A is correct. Option A is correct. Let us look at the other option also. IA, IB, IB uh, and I know. Now, <coughs> if these are parents, let us write that these are parents and now we are exploring option 2. <coughs> From this type of parent, there will be formation of two different type of gametes. And from this also, <coughs> this will be the possible gametes. Now, if you will make the crosses. type of babies are possible. 
ए बी ब्लड ग्रुप ए ब्लड ग्रुप बी बी दैट मीन्स आर जस्टिफिकेशन दैट अ बेबी कैन बी ए और ए बी ब्लड ग्रुप इज नॉट जस्टिफाइड ओवर हेयर सो दिस ऑप्शन इज इन करेक्ट नाउ कम बैक टू दिस दिस वन इज करेक्ट दिस वन इज इन करेक्ट लेट्स लुक एट द रेस्ट ऑफ टू आई ए आई नॉट आई बी आई नॉट ऑप्शन थ्री वी हैव पेरेंट्स I and now <coughs> again these are parents type of gametes I A I B. Small I. So the possible genotype or possible the phenotype of baby will be A B blood group, <coughs> A blood group, B blood group, and what will be this called as O blood. Group. so our statement justified or not no this option is also incorrect <coughs> now let's come back to the third one d let's explore this option also and let's check i a i b is crossed with i a i this is our option so there will be parents formation of two type of <coughs> gametes here also i a small i and if you so a blood group again a blood group ab blood group here also b but the child is having two type of blood group that is a or ab so this statement this option 4 is also incorrect see <coughs> in first option only i got my answer but for the justification i went to the other three options as well is it clear so option a correct let's talk about the question number 2 the following results are obtained by a scientist who crossed f1 generation of a pure breeding parent for the round and wrinkled seed now what are they saying we have round seed pure are there round and we have wrinkled also so wrinkled is also a same feature same character so it will be denoted by small r small r wrinkled seed <coughs> see question has already mentioned that uh, they are talking about a pure breeding that's the reason i have taken that in homozygous condition now these are parents so dominant traits or total number of f2 offspring are 7524 from these result it can be concluded that the actual number of the round seed he obtained was <coughs> now let's go for the cross first in this case the num uh, the gametes will be formed will be of single type and similarly on this case <coughs> 
now these are parents these are the gametes this is the f1 generation they have reached up to the f2 generation can you see this number of f2 offspring so we'll we'll also go for the f2 generation <coughs> now capital r small r is crossed with the capital r small r what is the ratio ratio is round 3 round 1 wrinkled 3 is to 1 you all know about this ratio 3 is to 1 ratio <coughs> so we have to find out the actual number of round seeds he obtained he said that the total number of seeds which he obtained 3 is to 1 this was the ratio this uh, is the ratio the total seed which he obtained was 7524 that means a three a uh, part three part of this number they were round in shape whereas a one part they were wrinkled in shape this can easily be calculated by <coughs> is it clear i have placed a x over here the reason is because i have to find out the value of x so that i can find out how many number of these round seeds are present so 4x will come out to be 7524 <coughs> x will come out to be 7524 <coughs> by 4 4 1 8 Eight, one, one eight eight one. So if we we'll talk about the round seeds, so round seeds we all know that it is three x. So three I'll multiply it with one eight eight one. <coughs> Is it clear? Now, if you will calculate it, let's calculate this also. Three, four. Six, five, six, four, three. This will be the number of round seeds. <coughs> five, six, four, three. I'll go for the option D. Is it clear? Now let's move on to the next question. Question number three. in a piece a pure pure tall plant is crossed with a pure short plant the ratio of pure pure tall to pure short plant in f2 generation will be they are saying they have crossed a capital t capital t with small t small t <coughs> i'm not going into depth please do this question uh, in detail by yourself i'm just making the f1 generation the f1 generation will come out to be a capital t small t justified so these are the f1 generation <coughs> we'll go up to the f2 generation because here the f2 is mentioned capital t small t we have to cross it with the capital t small t if you will cross it the ratio comes out to be capital t capital t capital t small t small t small t and the ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1 right or wrong absolutely right right we know about this uh, mono hybrid cross <coughs> now question is asking the ratio of the pure tall to pure short now these are the pure tall these are the pure short so what will be the ratio ratio is 1 is to 1 1 1 option c is correct for this question let's proceed towards the question number 4 <coughs> Select the statement that describe the characteristic of a gene. Gene are the specific sequence of bases in a DNA molecule, right or wrong? Absolutely right. These are the sequence 
of basis. A gene doesn't code for protein. No, gene codes for protein. An individual of a, of a given species, a specific gene is located on a particular chromosome. Yes, this is also specified. A particular gene has a particular location on chromosome. Each chromosome has only a single gene. No, multiple genes are present. Otherwise, uh, number of chromosome, they are 23 pairs, right? So that means 23 chromosomes are 23 genes are present. No, in our case, many genes are present. So both of these statements A and C are correct. <coughs> From these, you have to find out the correct option. I'll go for the second one, A and C. <coughs> This is the last question. The sex of a child is determined by which of the following? The length of mother's pregnancy? No. Misconception. The length of the time between ovulation and copulation? This is also a misconception. The presence of X chromosome in an ovum? No. It is the Y chromosome. So, I will go for this option. The presence of Y chromosome in a sperm. If Y chromosome type gamete, if, uh, when we talk about a gamete formation, in a gamete formation uh, for male they are able to produce two different type of gamete, one contain, containing X chromosome, other containing Y chromosome. If Y chromosome containing gametes fertilize with the uh, 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 avum gamete, <coughs> in that case there will be formation of a male. If there will be X type of gamete, it will of the male, it will fertilize with the X type of avum, there will be formation of a girl. So, this is because of the Y chromosome, D. So, with this we have completed the today's session of discussion, your objective type questions. Please, please, please practice other questions as well and in case you face any problem, do write us. Take care of yourself. Thank you so much students for watching this.